Hello, dear friends. I greet you all over the world. And I found it imperative this moment to bring this news your way as it is happening. My listeners, good evening, good night, good morning, and good afternoon. Depends on your time zone. This moment, I want to inform you that the plan of Tinibu and the Southeast governors have turned against them. Tinibu and Pitamba of Enugu State have been exposed by international community as the bandits and the terrorists terrorizing everywhere in Biafra land, killing people in Enugu state and in, in Tala, entire Nigeria. So now, there is no way for them to escape. There is no way to, for them to run to. Because now, Mary Jurunwa Wano, you see, all the evil plans they have been setting here and there in order to finish Igbo people. This is their plan. Tinibu and Southeast politicians. This is their plans to finish Igbo people. Fulanese will take over and bear me witness. The killing have started. It started from Benue State. As I'm talking with you, you cannot count scores of people that were beheaded by foreigners. And at the same time, a triggered off in Enugu State, which Finland government have seen the pictures of what is going on in Enugu State and how Fulani terrorists in connection with Nigeria government and Southeast governors are killing the innocent citizens of Biafran and Nigerians. Now Finland has made it clear to Pitamba that Pitamba is a terrorist because he cannot defend his people the people who voted him into the office. He cannot defend Enugu state people from the hands of foreigners, from the hands of terrorists. Then what makes Pitamba a governor and what makes him innocent from terrorism? And uh, Finland went ahead to let Pitamba know that his letter and his address as he addressed Simon Eba to be a criminal and to be a terrorist. That he, Pitamba, is the criminal and the terrorist which is terrorizing Biafra land, inciting mayhem and killing people unnecessarily because the evidence is clear that the terrorists are killing Enugu state indigenous people or citizens that Pitamba didn't uh, care, he doesn't care about what is happening to Enugu state citizens. And they brought it on their television well, through their satellite so that the whole world can see. And there now, Biafra now gained international attention and gained international support that nothing will stop the declaration or the declaration and the restoration of Biafra come to Monday. That is um, December 2nd, 2024. 
as I'm talking with you, there is major preparation for Biafra referendum, Biafra restoration. So you don't need to bother yourself about Mazen and the Kano and Mazen Simon Eba and General Meto Maribe and the rest of the Biafra notable freedom fighters and even those who are fighting for Biafra freedom secretly. Everybody now is recognized and uh, they make it clear. Finland make it clear. Finland authority make it clear that Biafran uh, social media warriors, Biafran social media warriors should begin to send the pictures of what really happened in Biafra land that they want to be having the pictures now as Tinibu and Pitamba and the rest of them are killing people with a terrorist in Biafra land, that they want to be having those pictures and having those, uh, you know, photos. So as evidence against P uh, Pitamba and Tinibu, that this is what they are in Nigeria doing now. Tinibu is in Delima. Pitamba have nowhere to move to. You know, from the beginning, Pitamba was very happy, jubilating and dancing that his worst enemy, which is Mazi Simon Eba, have been imprisoned or have been killed in Finland. For him to sit down in Enugu State and be eating billions of Naira every week. I'm telling you, he will eat sand. Aja gejuaba. Aja gejupitambaba. Sand shall fool the pocket of Pitamba any moment from now. See how people we have been massacred in Enugu State. Finland have reported it to the whole world and guarantee the restoration of Biafra nation come December 2nd, 2024. If you said, maybe I'm lying, try to excavate your ground. Try to find out whether if there is truth, if what I'm saying is truth or not. I'm telling you now that no Nigerian senator or um, governor, even the president, none of them is sitting well because their plans have perforated and it turned against them. It has poured on them seriously as international community have come to discover that all what they have been hearing is nothing but the truth. Tinibu and the Pitamba kill, kill pregnant women, kill children, kill adult, kill people, old men and women in their farmland with Fulani Mietiala terrorists, which the whole world know that they are being placed as number four in the World Index of Terrorism. Nigeria today have become number one terrorist country in the world and the number one poorest country in the world, which no country likes to associate with Nigeria because of their heinous crime, crime against humanity, genocide they commit and they are busy committing. And they think that it is going to be a business as a usual. My listeners, don't forget to share this video, make it go viral, subscribe to this channel and like this channel and let the whole world know that the terrorism going on in West Africa sub-region is being sponsored by Tinibu and Pitamba, the governor of Enugu State, Anambra State, Abia State, 
Ebony State and Imo State, the Chief Court Administrator, Hopus Adema. So their names have been nipped on the board and there's nothing they can do to change it. Pitamba overlook the killings going on in Enugu State, how Fulanis are killing Enugu State indigents. And the only thing he could do is to write a junk, write a fabricated letter against Simon Eber that he don't deserve to be released, that he's a criminal and he's a terrorist. Pitamba, where are your living proofs and where are your evidences to prove that what you are saying against Simon Eber is true? You wait. We are coming. And we are coming with force. And any moment from now, the whole Africa, the whole world, the whole Igbo land, and the whole Nigeria will know that indeed Biafra is not small nation. They are a great nation. So before I leave you, I want you to be very, very conscious of this as the Finland authorities have let Biafrans know that they, be sh they should be steady, stand firm on what they believe, that they are solidly behind them to actualize Biafra. So also, many countries, world powers are coming out now. World leaders are coming out now supporting Biafra restoration because they have seen the animosity and the atrocity, the war done being committed by Nigeria government and Igbo politicians in Nigeria. So for this reason, the world powers and world leaders have vowed to bring Tinibu and Pitamba, Southeast politicians, to justice. Because all what have been going on, they cover it. As they cover it, they are not fighting terrorism. They are happy when people are being beheaded and being killed with impunity. So um, I think uh, Tinibu and Petamba shall explain more to international community what they are doing and the people that voted them are being killed in thousands and in hundreds on daily basis. And they don't react, no reaction from them. They don't fight back. They don't repel the attack. And they don't ameliorate nor mitigate the people who lost to their beloved ones. So, what they are, they are doing is what? Sharing money and buying sophisticated weapons for terrorists to make sure that Nigeria and Biafra entirely is completely fulanized and Islamized. So, my dear listener, I think he who have ears should hear what the spirit is telling the church. If you cover terrorists, if you harbor terrorists in Igbo land, they will kill you. It's you they will kill first. Because you who harbor them will not go free. I'm telling you the truth. If you have mercy on terrorists, if you have pity on terrorists, international community have given order to report the activities of terrorists in Nigeria by uh, whether Tinibu like it or not. The activities of terrorists must be reported. Their activities must be exposed. So the whole world now want to help to fight terrorism 
in Biafra land.